Um, to be completely honest with you, lately I'm mostly following projects on Hugging Face, rather looking what Gnome does. And anyway, I want to show you one I've discovered relatively recently. It's not super new, so if you're also hanging out here, you will most probably know it. It's called Comics AI Factory, and just in case you don't know, all these projects are open source and only run on Hugging Face servers that are sponsored by Google, Amazon, NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, IBM, but not Microsoft. What this app does is to accept a prompt with a story, and it generates a comic. We also have a few more options. Here, for example, we can select the comic style we want, and I will obviously go for Japanese, although it will still read from left to right. Then we can select how many grids we want, and that's it. We don't need anything more, really. Extra simple, Alan Day will approve it all day long. There is this caption option, but we can enable or disable it at any time. All right, time to write our prompt. Usually here we should go super expressive and describe every detail, but I'll keep this prompt short for video purposes. Um, okay. Brody was a Windows user, but he was mad at Windows because they were crushing all the time. So, he decided to switch to Ubuntu. But he was very frustrated because Ubuntu was full of problems. Brody was almost ready to abandon Linux one and for all. But then me told him to try Arch Linux. Brody put Arch Linux and he was happy ever since. He was so happy that Brody actually kissed me. Ew, gross! There is a second prompt that we can describe the style and the characters. For example, we want it to be manga style. Brody has blue hair and black eyes. Me has black hair and blue eyes. Stuff like those, that won't work anyway, and I'll tell you why. And generate, which takes so much time. Some spaces take like half an hour for generating the content. Fortunately, this is much shorter. But if you want to really use it, you should deploy it on some service or in a spare PC if you have. Okay, first thing to notice is that the application... Um, let me zoom that. So the application cannot keep characters design constant, and it redraws different characters for each scene. Cartoons Factory uses DAL E3, which I don't know their APIs, but Stable Diffusion has the exact same limitation that it can't remix images, so we can't yet create a coherent story. Except perhaps if we try like 1 million regenerations and be lucky. Now on each box we can redraw an image. Or we can edit it. Basically, there is a prompt that describes the sketch, so we can change that and regenerate another image. And even if that ain't work really great, it is still a crazy sick UI. The last thing we have is the captions, that we can obviously edit with human skills, but it is hardly recommended. Um, basically, let me read you the manga, with an original narration, of course. Windows always crashing. Brody needs a change. Ubuntu promised stability, but it's causing more problems than solutions. Me told me to give Arch Linux a try. Let's see if it's any better than Ubuntu. Arch Linux is a breath of fresh air. No more crashes or frustrations. Me, you were right. Arch Linux is amazing. I can't thank you enough. Me, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Will you go out with me? Me, I knew it all along. Linux is the perfect match for me, and you're the cherry on top. I may have made a few mistakes in the past, but with you by my side, I know I'll never regret choosing Arch Linux. <laughs> and the question is, if all those are already open source, why we can't just get them on GTK apps? Um, I'm reminding you that Google Play Store is full of such apps and they sell like crazy. Actually, are the only apps people pay for apart games. To answer the question, those kind of apps require backends and registrations, and not many from the community are willing to provide such kind of development. So unfortunately I'm getting back to the conclusion that GNOME basically has not the momentum to grow as a project. And KDE neither. It's not that AI is thriving on KDE, is it? Um, but now let's talk about Waylon, like we do for the last 10 years. Ha! 